Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share with you how that the poinsettia dye match with the plush uh, poinsettia special paper. That's a vellum with a plush on it. So that's what it's all about today. So let me share um, which dye is going to work. So <clears throat> I got a little mess here. So you get the single ones. What I mean by the single, the other threes got with the embossed center. This is the single one. And also the single one, it's the one that match with the full poinsettia uh, stamps there. The other one match with the other size, but this big one here, it's the one that you don't have to do la layers. It's already layers for you, okay? And for the leaves, you get two size. It is the smallest one. And then for the berries, it's not the detail one. It's the one with the outline. So let me bring the paper here and show you how to handle the paper. By the way, I got my catalog open here. What I am using today, we're going to use the beaded pearls also. But the paper, it's on page 15 of the mini catalog. I call it the holiday catalog, August to December 2020. That's the paper I'm using. So you get different print oops, in the paper. So you, you get the berries with the leaves. You get the flower itself, the points it here. And then you get like that pattern paper. So you get all two sheets of each. Okay, so you know that 12 by 12 don't fit in this because it's 6 by 6. So the best way, me, what i done, and on the side, no matter, you can do partial of it, but uh, what i done, I did. I went ahead and cut a strip that's going to fit in my machine. So that's how I did this. So you can use it for a full background also. You don't have just to cut them. You can cut a square and put it on the card. But if you want to cut, that's how i done this. So the berries and the leaves are together. And then you got the flower. So I just went and I cut strip too. But for showing you how it worked with the, the dies, I'm just going to cut one. Here we go. Now, you're going to feel uh, how it fit perfectly together. Here we go. And when you put that in, like I said, you almost feel when it's put perfectly. I'm going to put that one there. Now, the berries, though, very important. You see some berries turn to the left. The one that turned to the left, the die will not fit. And I thought, oh, we're going to go from the back, and it's still not just right. Almost, but not, okay? So those one you would have to end cut, or like I said, you can cut uh, for a background on your car. So this one would fit right there. So we get that one. And then the leaf, the, <clears throat> the fat part go at the top. And the skinnier part go at the bottom. One thing, this year it's too close for comfort. That's a no-no. So, and that one too. So what I'm going to have to do is cut them separately. You don't want your uh, die to overlap together. Oh, I had on top. If your die is going to overlap together, you will bend your die and it will damage your die. So the best thing is to put it in. Let's roll this. And that is normal. It crackle as it cut. Okay, now let's remove this here. You see we got a lovely uh, uh, leaves. Our points it here. Now we get the berries. Perfect match. Now let's cut one of the the leaves so you just put it in put your plate at the top uh, you just cut that like regular paper so you're going to need your platform number one 
you're going to need your platform number two and two of the clear plate that is number three. That's it, just like a regular uh, paper. Now let me remove this. And I'm going to share with you how you can sponge them. I've got a scrappy paper here. So, <clears throat> and I think I got one of the scrap paper right here. So what you can do is take your sponge and go at the top. And then when you cut it, it all cut around so it's perfect. You can uh, sponge in the back also, but it won't show as much. If you see, I got some shimmer on this one. You can, and that's what we're going to do today. So you see how I sponge it. I'm going to use... Uh, I just need one, and we need two leaves, and then the berries. I have in my spritzer, almost done time to ring it, to put more. I fill that with rubbing alcohol, about, um, about three quarter there, of 70% rubbing alcohol. And then I add about uh, four or five drops of the shimmer paint, the frosted shimmer paint. And then we're going to take this and... Now, not only that I get the plush, but I get all that shimmer on top. I think that's cool. I pre-done the brick wall. I thought the brick wall was going awesome with that. This is uh, Mary Merlot this time. I got my Whisper White 5.5 by 8.5, score at 4 and a quarter. Now, let's mount that together. Here we go. We're going to put that right here. I got my camera way higher than normal because of I was using the die cut machine. Now we're going to put that right here. It's always a sight that it seemed the brick fit better. And that was embossed with the brick and mortar uh, folder. Now we're going to use glue dots. And you can use, all, uh, not glue dots, um, dimensional. You could use glue dots. And you're going to see, well, the dimensional going to show. Well, here, you cannot tell at all because it was white in the back. And this one neater, but I put the pearls. We will put the pearls. Because on the red, what's going to happen on the red here, it's going to show a little bit because it's red and white. See, it show quite a bit, but that's okay. We're going to put our uh, pearls. We're going to put that there. Now for the leaves, I'm going to just use a glue dot. And I like to put the small one at the top of the big one. Glue dots. They're almost hard to find when they're on your desk, huh? Here we go. I get those two. Now, in the back, I'm going to put one there and one there. It won't show. First of all, it's going to get tucked under. We're going to tuck that right there so it don't really show. Now, for the berries, we're going to put that right here. And you don't even have to fold it because it's going to go under so it won't show. I'm going to put the... Oh, dang, dang. Did you see what I did? No, I was right. I thought I had the plush on the wrong side. It's right. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and put another one. I would like to have one more. Well, I just get one here. And I tried to tuck my stem under the plush. Here we go. Now for the, the pearls, the beaded pearls that I thought I had here. Let me check where I put that. I just used glue dots. Hmm, that is tricky. 
I had them out. Oh, they're in front of me. Silly, silly. Okay, we're gonna pull, gonna use one glue dot, and now we're gonna cover our dimensional. See how simple that was? That is so striking. Now we're gonna use Mary Merlot um, ink. This is on shimmer. I had a strip of shimmer here. Uh, the Merry Christmas come from the same stamp set. Please note that if you buy the stamp set and the die, make sure you enter the number for the bundle so you get 10% discount. You cannot enter the, the number for the stamp set and then the die. You have to put the number together, whatever. It's a one number for the bundle to get the 10%. If you go right below, direct on my blog, you're going to have the... I'm going to cut this here. The direct link to go to my blog post. And there I got the easy shop button. And I'm going to list the bundle and also all the supplies. And I'm going to list them separately. In case you don't want the stamp set, maybe just the die or vice versa. Maybe you don't have a machine and you would cut them by hand. So I will list both of them. Now I got my banner. This was three and three, uh, three quarter wide. The length I will have all measurement on my blog. I already cut part of it, right? I'm gonna curl the top, curl the top, and the bottom here. Many gonna say it's gonna get flat up in uh, the postage. It's gonna flat a bit, but it still keep the curve part of it. Now I'm gonna come right here on this side. And I'm going to put my banner. Now let me share how I'm going to do the inside. The inside, I'm going to use the same flower that matched that. So it's one flower. Didn't use this one yet. So let's use that. The other one, I use the medium one and I stamp once and that not ring and stamp again. That's how I get all those colors. So that would be with this one here. I stamp twice. Stamp once and then again without re-inking in between. This time I want to share with you the big flowers. So in case you don't want to do all those layers on the other card that um, I'm going to have coming up, this would do the trick. I'm going to put that right here. Voila. Oh, that is pretty. This is the first time I stamp with this flower. That is gorgeous. So that was in Mary Merlot. Here we go. Let me share other card that I did with that. That it's going to be coming up. I don't know which one going to be first though. Here it is, just building with, uh, not stamping, just building with the dies. Very, very pretty. So it's a very friendly uh, set. So here it is. So now you got it, not, not sponge, those two's not sponge, and this one it's sponge. This was in Cherry Cobbler. It got a little pink because I would have to keep on sponging and sponging to get a dark color. And this was in a uh, mossy meadow. That is it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe right below. Come visit me at FrenchyStamps.com. I blog uh, almost daily and always a new project every day. Thank you and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.